I am very grateful that uh, with uh, Ave Maria School of Law, my university of uh, Cardinal Stefan Wyszynski in Warsaw, we could uh, uh, organize together a conference on uh, the legacy on John Paul II teaching on uh, human rights and uh, natural law. I think that uh, the number of different speakers, prestigious from uh, Europe, from uh, Latin America, North America, there is a big interest in the teaching of John Paul II and the, uh, there is a lot of people who would like to really reflect on uh, what he said on human rights. Today in the Western world, the doctrine of uh, human rights is challenged on a new way by secularization. Secularization means that the uh, religious justification of human rights is disappearing from the public debate, but on the same time, the church is uh, withdrawing from a part of public space, and this, this, this part is not uh, remaining empty, but is taken again, like in the pagan times, by the state. So we can say that the scope of the temporal power is enlarged in such a sense that we sometimes talk on resacralization of this uh, political power. And at the same time, the voice of the church is uh, quite often excluded from the public debate. In my personal life, I know this experience from the communist time because we had a censorship. So the voice of the church was not allowed in the public debate. And uh, when I am looking now on some phenomena on the West, uh, I would say there are some similarities. Uh, so it's not the same, but uh, uh, it's not totally opposite. And in this context, in my opinion, the role of the church and also the courage to be a part of the public debate is very important, not only for the church, but also for the, for the society.